Hello, hello, Pokey people. Dapper Dapper here today, and today we have some legendary battle decks. We have the Ho O E X battle deck and the Lugia E X battle deck. Let's go ahead and see what the back of these guys read, and then we'll uh, go ahead and get them open. So let's look at Ho O first. Get ready for a legendary battle. Fly above it all with the legendary rainbow Pokemon Ho-Oh and the Pokemon TCG legendary battle deck. This 60 card deck is ready to play right away with powerful cards and winning strategies worthy of any ace trainer. Let the battle begin. Includes a 60 card deck, two Pokemon EX, eight foil basic energy cards, one metallic coin, uh, two player, playmat, and rule sheet, one code card to play this deck online, a deck box, damage counters, and one quick quick guide to unlock powerful strategies within. Here is the deck list, has a Ho-Oh-E-X, two Vile Plumes, two Glooms, two Oddishes, a Cobaliana, Dedene, Jodengard, a Moleta, Sableye, Smearl, Sunfish, Suicune, Tropius, and Xerneas. That's a lot of different Pokemon. Um... From there it has two battle compressors, a Bianca, a Sharon, two energy switches, a uh, Hue, uh, one Lysander, one Misty's Determination, one N, two Pokemon Communications, one Pokemon Fan Club, two Professor Junipers, one Professor Letter, uh, one Psychic's Third Eye, one Random Receiver, one Shauna, one Skyla, one Super Rod, one Switch, two Ultra Ball, one VES Seeker, uh, eight F uh, just says basic energies, which I assume is going to be fire uh, energies that are foil and eight that are non foil. I assume it's going to be fire, but we'll see what's inside. Come on, let's go ahead and read the Lugia one. Get ready for a legendary battle. Befriend the legendary diving Pokemon Lugia with this Pokemon TCG legendary battle deck. This 60 card deck is ready to play right away with powerful cards and winning strategies. Worthy of any ace trainer, let the battle begin. Include 60 card deck, two Pokemon EXs, code card, deck box, damage counters, all the same stuff. And the deck list for this is two Lugia EXs, two Blissies, three Chanties, two Go Lurk, two, three Golettes, two Girafferigs, two Skarmories, two, one C Celestia, one Mr. Mime, one Sigalith, uh, two Esperia City Gems, one Bianca, one Sharon, two Dimension Valleys, uh, one Escape Rope, one Lysander, one N, two commun Pokemon Communications, one Pokemon Fan Club, one Professor Birch's Observation, two Professor Junipers, one Professor Letter, one Random Receiver, a Shauna, a Skyla, a Superata Switch, two Ultra Balls, two, one VS Seeker, a Winona, uh, Psychic Energy, times eight foil, five non foil Psychic Energy, and then three double colorless energies. Now, what we are going to do after we go ahead and open these guys up is we are going to set up a small battle between them. We'll have Ho O -Oh versus Lugia to see how they fare. Um, but give me a moment and then we'll go ahead and bust into these guys. Hello, hello, Poke people. We're back. So we're going to face off Lugi EX versus Ho -Oh EX. We have some sleeves on them and we are ready to go. So Lugia is the Dragonite sleeves and Ho -Oh is the Clear sleeves. So let's go ahead and get this shuffled up. Decide who goes first. I'm going to say. Odds are gonna be, is Ho -Oh, and evens is uh, Lugia. So let me try to roll it on the board. Let me just move these guys aside first. Put the deck box aside. It is evens, so Lugia will be going first. Gonna shuffle the deck here a few times to make sure that we have no clue where any cards are. And since we're playing ourselves, we're just gonna go ahead and cut the deck here. 
Nope, oh, let's not forget this weekend. Again, let's just get shuffled up so we have no clue where that ho is. We have all our damage counters here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Probably the best start on this side is going to be Sigalith. And we'll put Chansey and Mr. Mime on the bench. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put our prize cards over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and start on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that, we start uh oh. So we're gonna go ahead and put Xerneas down and we're gonna keep Ho oh in the hand because we want to get him in the discard pile. And there's a perfect way to get started with it right here. Two code one communications? Jeez. Okay, let's get the six cards. There's two. Two and two. Let's see our prize cards are over here. Shake hands, flip over our cards. And Lugia starts. Oops, let me get the whole hand. Draw for turn. It is a professor's letter. And let's see what we want to do. So. Hmm. I think the best option here is to... Let's go ahead and professor's letter. Search our deck for a psychic energy. I think it has to be two psychic stones, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're going to draw Lugia next turn. So let's go ahead and shuffle up. it will cut the deck and what we want to do is we're just going to put a psychic energy down and even though I could play Dimension Valley I could play Escape Rope um, we want it to be a surprise so I think we're going to hold on to it for this turn and if they end we're not going to be too upset because we'll put these back in the pile so we're going to go ahead and pass This side, we will draw for turn. We get a Tropius. Um, let's go ahead and Pokemon Communications. Reveal Tropius. And this thing reveals reveal a Pokemon in your hand and put it on the top of your deck. If you do search your deck for a Pokemon and reveal it, put it in your hand. So, we'll put him on the top of the deck. We just got him. And we want to get a different Pokemon out. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and... I have an energy in my hand, don't I? Yes, I do. I think the best is either to Dene or grabbing another Ho-Oh EX. Because then my ho-ohs are... Completely in the discard. Go ahead and grab ho-oh. Put Pokemon Communications over there. Shuffle the deck.
Jeez. Sliding all over the place. There we go. So now we have a fun thing. We have two ho O's in our hand. What I'm going to do is Psychic's Third Eye, which you know discards uh, as many cards as you'd like from your hand and then draw that many cards. So I'm discarding one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Now we're talking here. Let's go ahead and Battle Compressor. With Battle Compressor, we're going to go ahead and throw out three energies. Shuffle our deck again. And yes, it doesn't really matter which energies as long as they are different. So by discarding three energies, we're setting up a great play for Huh oh to use his Rebirth ability, which is once during your turn before you attack, this Pokemon is in your discard pile, and you may flip a coin. If heads, just put this Pokemon onto your bench and attach three different type of basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So, this is our, uh, our coin. Evens is head, and odds is um, tail. So, let's see. We get evens. So, let me, sorry for popping the camera. We bring back a ho oh We put three different basic types of energy on it. My question is, does it have to be, or does it say up to? I think it has to be three basic energies, so we're not going to be able to pull off the next ho oh but we got the first one set up here with that battle compressor. And for good measure, we will put a fairy energy on the Xerneas here. Now we can't retreat quite yet. We did play our supporter already, so we're gonna go ahead and pass. Now it is Lugia's turn. We draw an Ultra Ball, which is not bad. Um, let's go ahead and put the Mention Valley down. Play that Psychic Energy here. And now, because of Dimension Valley, Psychic Pokemon attacks cost one star, one colorless less. So, I can use Psychic for two energies on Sigilyph. However, we're not done there. We are going to go ahead and use this Ultra Ball and discard a Escape Rope and a Double Colorless Energy to pick out our Lugia, wherever he be. So, we want to find our Lugia, which is right here. And it looks like... Okay, the other one's down here. Neither one of them is prized, so that's good. So we put him in our hand. Opponent cuts the deck, and then we bench him, and we Psychic for, does 10 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So it does 50, and then because of one energy, it does 60 damage to the Xerneas. So, since I attacked, it's back to Ho-Oh EX's turn, and we draw a Suicune, I'm going to go ahead and place Suicune down here, and... We see our opponent has one card in hand, so we do not want to play an end because that gives them a fresh hand. Now, um, Lysander would be good, but we do not have an energy. So what we need to do in this turn is to Professor Juniper, which discards your entire hand and draws seven. It's Sycamore before Sycamore was. So... That is our best play. We're going to go ahead and Juniper. 
and draw seven new cards. There's three, four, five, six, seven. A lot more supporters here, looks like. I'm gonna go play go ahead and play down that Oddish. We will uh, play an energy down here on the Xerneas. Oh wait, do we? One, two. Um yeah, we'll go ahead and play that energy down there. And we already played a supporter, so there's no point in using any of these. We're going to go ahead and... We'll see, we can't retreat because... Sigalif... Okay, so what we want to do is, we are going to retreat. Which is spending our two energies. We're going to put Oddish up here. And then we're going to roll a die to try to do rebirth on the other one. We fail it, so you cannot come back. Which is fine. We don't need him quite yet anyways. We're gonna put our Oddish up front and see if we have a way around this next turn. Okay. Draw a card for a turn. It's another psychic energy. We're going to throw down this double colorless onto Lugia. And we are going to Psychic for 50, taking out Oddish. And drawing a prize card, which we get a Cressula. There we go. Sorry for the focus back and forth. Now on this side, what I think we want to do, we have to decide who we're promoting to our active before we... Uh, do anything for our turn. So he has 90 HP. The best thing I think we can do is to promote Crap, that really puts us in a damper. Okay, um... We are going to promote the ho -Oh. And then, you know, we'll draw for turn. We get a, a fighting energy. We'll go ahead and put that onto Xerneas. We are going to random receiver. Which means we, we flip over cards until we find a what? Reveal cards from top of your deck until you find a supporter card. So that's an item. That's an item, Pokemon, an energy, Pokemon, an item, a Pokemon, and then our supporter is Hue that we find. So set our hand aside, we'll shuffle this back into our deck. Sorry for the slow or awkward commentary here. <clears throat> I'm trying my hardest not to bump the camera. I'm like right behind it in this slightly different setup than usual. I'm trying to show you guys off how this works. So, let's see. So, what we're going to want to do now is we have no other choice. We're going to want to Skyla and we're going to let ho -Oh sit there in the active. He cannot attack Sigilith because of Sigilith's safeguard ability, which safeguard uh, prevents all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. So I know with that you're probably questioning, okay, why did I put ho -Oh in the active then? And that is because I am going to Lysander around the Sigilith. Now the question is, do we have a Lysander in here? We do not. But we did just use one. We did just throw one into the discard pile, which we have access to by using this card, VS Seeker. So with Skyla, we will go find that trainer card. 
and we will shuffle our deck. Now, I could get the Lysander this turn, but I cannot use it. So I'm just going to hold on to the VS Seeker until next turn when I can bring out the Lysander and go ahead and use it. We're going to roll our die. We get a 2. So we can bring back our OEX and we can get three different basic type of energies. I'm going to put the fairy in there. And we have two uh oh oh EXs set up now. And so there's nothing else we can really play from our hand. We cannot play another supporter because we already played one this turn. And so we're gonna end our turn there. Pass it off to the Lugia side here. He's gonna draw for turn. Professor Birch, huh? Gonna go ahead and put a psychic energy on the Lugia. And we are going to play Professor Birch. We roll a dice. If we roll tails, it's four. If we roll heads, it's going to be seven. It is tails. So we're going to shuffle our hand into our deck. And we'll let our opponent cut if they want to. And we're going to draw four cards. Okay, we get Super Rod, Switch, Golette, and Chansey. We played our supporter for the turn, so we can't... Well, we don't have any supporters. We have no Pokemon in the, our energy in the discard, so we can't play Super Rod. Um, we could play Switch. But right now, Psychic does 80, while Arrow Ball does 20, 60, 80. Does a lot of damage. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Switch. She's going to switch Sigalith here, put him back on the bench with his two energies. We're going to bring Lugia up to the active, and we're going to go ahead and play Golette down in the bench space. And then we will, we will arrow ball for this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. So this does 2040 for the double colorless, 60 for the Psychic, uh, 80, 100, and 120. So we're going to do 120 damage to this Ho-Oh, which is 6 damage counters and 6 damage counters. And now it is Ho-Oh's turn. Which he is excited about. Let's see, we got uh, Moletta. We'll go ahead and bench that. Now, what we need now is a different type of energy. Um, so, ho uh oh, Rainbow Burn does 20 damage for each different type. 20 plus does 20 more damage for each different type of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. So, right now he does 80 damage. But we can um, bump that up. Well, maybe. I'm going to probably keep it down to 80 damage, to be perfectly honest. Um, what I think we want to do is Misty's Determination, discard a card from our hand, and look on the top 8 cards of your deck. So I'm going to discard Hue. And look at the top eight cards of our deck. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to pick a card from there that we want to add to our hand. And I think we're going to add Professor's Letter. And here's kind of the cheeky thing I can do here. I'm going to go ahead and play that right away and then take the metal and water energy. That way I don't have to shuffle the deck twice. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle now. So what I'm going to try to do here 
Now we have the wrong energy type on Xerneas. And I think we're going to stick the metal energy onto ho -Oh over here. And then we will Rainbow Burn, which does 20 damage, 20 more damage for each different type of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. So it does 20, and then 20 more, which is 40, 60, 80 damage to this Lugia. So we'll do a 6 and a 2. Back over to Lugia's turn. Blissey. So. We will play Blissey. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin of heads. Heal 30 damage from your active Pokemon. So, no reason not to. We get Tails, so it does nothing. Um, there's nothing in our discard. We can't play the chance. Well, we can play the Chansey down on the bench, but there's no reason to. We want to kind of save that bench space for another Lugia. So, we are going to go ahead and Arrow Ball for another 120. You know. F uh, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Knock out the uh oh And take two prize cards. One and two. We got a psychic energies. Two of them. So now we're gonna go ahead and promote the uh oh We're gonna draw for turn. It's an ultra ball. We're going to roll the dice. If it's heads, we can, uh, it is heads. It's a two. So we can bring back ho -Oh with three basic energy types. And go ahead and just bring this one right back. And what do we want to do now? We have all the right kind of energy on this ho -Oh, so we're just going to add another water energy for good measure and I think we're going to actually Pokemon fan club search your deck for two basics reveal them and put them into your hand so we're gonna go ahead and grab Oddish and I think we want to grab Cobalion actually let's go ahead and grab the Dene and Cobalion yeah, that makes the most sense to me. We'll add them to our hand. We have four Pokemon on the bench right now. We're going to go ahead and add... I believe the Dene. We'll add the Dene to the bench. Gives us another type of Pokemon there. So you can have five Pokemon on your bench. And then we will Rainbow Burn for 20. Plus 20. So 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. 120 plus 80 is 200. He has 170 HP. So that knocks out Lugia. Allows Uh oh to take two prize cards. This is an energy switch and that Smeargle. Okay, let's look at our hand. Best bet here is to promote the Sigilith. Draw for turn. It's a Cressula. We will... I guess we will put... Who do we want to use? We decided to put Cressula down with an energy here. Um, nothing else we can really play in our hand. We're going to keep Lugia in the discard for now, and using Sigilef, we are going to Psychic, which does 10 more damage for each energy attached to defending Pokemon. So it's going to do 50 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it's going to do 100 damage to this Ho-Oh, which puts it at 100 damage there. Put those back in there. And then it is Ho's turn. I'm gonna draw for turn here. 
It is gloom. We are kind of maxed out on our bench for space right now. But what we kind of want to do is... Let's see... We got energy switch, move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to switch this fairy energy back to Xerneas here. We are going to... Let's see, what do we want to do here? We want to draw more, kind of. How many cards do we have in our hand? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six cards in our hand. Um, but let's go ahead and play Ultra Ball. Give it a Gloom and Cobalion. And I don't know if it matters which Pokemon we grab here. In fact, we might just decide to miss it. Yeah, we want to miss it in this case. Just kind of using Ultra Ball to get cards out of our hand. So we have a better chance of drawing what we need. And then we play our Bianca. We have two cards, we draw until we have six, so we're drawing four cards, which is an entire, it's an, almost an entire Vileplume line and a Sable Eye, which kind of is not what we wanted. So, what do we want to do now? Um, I could hide behind something. Although everything seems to have a pretty high retreat cost. If I had an energy, I would put it on the Xerneas. But I don't want to lose this hut oh so soon. Because it gives him two more prizes. I'm going to retreat this hot oh I'm going to spend the metal and the water energy. And I am going to promote the those. I could do Echo Voice if I had two energies, but I don't. I think the best thing to promote right now is the Dedene. Yeah. We'll promote the Dedene to buy a turn. And pass the turn. Has to figure out a way to take out this Sigalith. We'll go ahead and put an energy on the Cressula. We're going to Pokemon Communication. Reveal that we have Chansey. Put it at the top of our deck. And exchange it for Lugia. Unless we want Golurk. We have no energy on Golurk though. Lugia is our best bet, it seems. Go ahead and shuffle the deck now. We'll play Lugia onto the bench here. Let's move somebody over. Keep the Super Rod in our hand, and we were Psychic for 50 damage. Just let me see if I can find any more orange dyes in here. Psychic for 50 damage on the Dedene. Draw for turn on the Ho side. We got a switch. Nothing else. So we're going to switch, we'll take the Dene into the back, we'll put Xerneas up here, we'll 
We're going to VS Seeker, bring out the Juniper. Uh, let's do this right. In VS Seeker, we're going to find ourselves Professor Juniper. We're going to discard our entire hand, which is everybody, and draw seven new cards. Three and four. All we need to hit is one energy, which we do. We hit a fire energy. We're going to put that on the Xerneas. And see, now we get the cards we need. Energy switch would have worked too. Yeah, so energy switch could have worked, but we got the fire energy. We're going to Rainbow Force, which does 30 damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. We have the Dene, that's 30. Ho uh oh, which is 60. Suicune, which is 90. And then Moloetta, which is 120. We have Ho uh oh, which does nothing because we already have Ho uh oh. So it does 120 damage, knocking out the Sigilyph. And putting another card into our hand. Let's see, we gotta promote the Cressula on this side, it's the only thing with any energy on it. We're gonna draw for turn. We will put our energy on Lugia and then I'll hang on to Super Rod still. We have two energy on Cressula. We can go ahead and Moonlight gain, healing 20 damage from ourselves, but we have no damage on us. It does 70 damage, this thing already has. 60 damage on it, so that knocks it out for one more prize card. Put the Xerneas over here. So that prize card was a double colorless energy, which is perfect for us. Go ahead and promote the, the ho oh over here. With the three energies on it. We will draw for turn. As we're running low on stuff here. We will energy switch, moving the psychic energy from this uh oh. Well, it doesn't matter which energy we use. We're gonna move an energy though, up to this uh oh. I'm giving him four energies. We are going to super rod. Actually, let's go ahead and battle compressor first. We're gonna battle compressor. Moving anything out of here that we don't need. We don't need stun, stun fisk. And it says up to three, so I can just remove one and be fine with it. And see that we have a lot of energies left. We're going to go ahead and super rod, which puts even more energies back. So one, two, three. Put them back in here. We'll shuffle our deck in a second. Okay, never mind. We'll shuffle it now. And the question is to play Sharon or to play uh, Shauna. I think because we know most of this deck left is energies, we're just going to play a Sharon, which draws us three cards. So Sharon, draw three. One, two... So I will play a Psychic Energy onto the hut over here. And... So we energy switch the first one. We have five energies on him. Which does 20 plus 40, 60... 80, 100, 120, which knocks out this Cressula and takes another prize card, which is an Ultra Ball. So it's two prizes, the two prizes so far. This has been a pretty good game here. Lugia's turn, we'll draw for turn. We get po Pokemon Fan Club. Well, actually, we we're supposed to promote the Lugia first. So we promote the Lugia, draw for turn. It's Pokemon Fan Club. We will attach the 
Uh, we'll attach the double colorless super rod, which will bring back a uh, Lugia and two psychic energies. Could probably even. Well, the question is should we safeguard? Okay, let's bring back one psychic energy, and the other card we'll bring back is Sigalith. Because he could win us the game. Now, what I'm actually going to do is Pokemon Fan Club and not search for these two because these are the two I'm grabbing. Go ahead, play Sigalith on the bench, play Lugia on the bench. Make sure our deck gets shuffled before we go back. And then Lugia is going to Aero Ball, which does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So he does 40 for the double color, 60 for the psychic energy. And then because of Ho-Oh, he does another 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So he does 100 plus 40 plus... He does 160, which is the perfect amount to knock out Ho-Oh. So let's make sure we're doing that math correctly. So error ball, 20 damage times, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 160 is Ho-Oh's uh, HP. We take the last two prize cards on Lugia's side, and I think that pretty much showed off what both decks are capable of. It was a close match, but in the end, Lugia is the champion. So now, what I would do if you end up do if you do end up buying both of these decks, um, what I would do is combine them for the most part because what you want to do is you want to have a consistent deck. Both of these ran pretty well, but there is possible. This is an expanded format. This one is. But cards like Bianca, you can replace with Lily. Cards like Sharon, you prefer to have a Juniper. Shauna, you prefer to have an N. So if you combine the two of them, you, you know, you get two Lysanders, two Ns, two Junipers. Or is it four Junipers? You'll get four Junipers. And Via Seeker is always good because you can bring back any supporter you need. Uh, random Receiver is good to find supporters, but Trainer's Mail can find both supporters and item. Skyla can be useful. Winona is good with... Uh, Normal types. Did you have a lot of normal types in here? Uh, but and then yeah, kind of pair it with with other EXs or regular or non EXs that kind of help what you're trying to do. Let me not combine these two together. Yeah, there we go. But this has been Dapper Jabby, and this has been another legendary battle. I guess is what I'll start calling them maybe. Uh, between Ho uh -oh and Lugia, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, and I will bid you guys Alola. See you guys on the next video. Bye bye now. Girl.